time for today's three stock lunch. Today we are looking at three stocks on deck to report earnings next week. First up, McDonald's. The company set to report on Monday before the market opened. The current analyst consensus is for a strong buy with the average price target representing about 25% increase from MCD's current price. Here is, oh, here with our trades is Art Hogan, chief market strategist with B. Riley Wealth Management. Art, great to see you. How are you looking at McDonald's? Well, I can tell you this. It's one of those names that uh, has had a market performance this year. So it's down 2% on the year, which is about the average for the uh, S&P 500 um, mark, uh, uh, equal weight index. And I think uh, it's about 16% off its 52-week uh, high. It trades at a reasonable to itself 22 times and pays a 2.5% dividend. I think this is going to be an earnings winner. I don't think there's a great deal of expectation built into this. So I, I would buy this in front of its earnings report on Monday. All right, let's move on to Eli Lilly Art, the company set to report next Thursday before the bell. What's the trade on Eli Lilly, which has been uh, rising for much of the year on the strength of its uh, weight loss drugs? Yeah, Manjarno, it's uh, Lilly is one of the GLP-1 darlings and certainly reflects that in its, both its multiple and its year-to-date performance. Very difficult to think it's going to be able to say something that actually justifies its being up 55% year-to-date um, I think that when you look at the, the high flyers and the, and the AR, AI darlings of uh, this week's reports and how they reacted to even good or better earnings results, it's just difficult to sort of get your arms wrapped around this. I don't think this is one you want to hold into the earnings report. It likely has some more consolidating to do, but uh, clearly a great company. Love the company, just don't like the price. Okay. But as a long-term investment, you would you would hold it, right? I would certainly hold it. I would like to. I, I would buy it on significant pullbacks here. We know the total addressable market of, of the diabetes and obesity drugs are, is going to be something spectacular, but we've really priced in a lot of that total addressable market in a very short period of time. Finally, Airbnb stock is down recently, but still up 33 percent this year. Art, what's the trade on Airbnb? Yeah, Airbnb is a tough one. Now we like the company, and we would be a buyer. We just wouldn't do it in front of their earnings report. And the reason I say that, Morgan, is. Threefold. First and foremost, the overall volatility in stock trading Airbnb on a year-over-year -year basis has come in quite a bit, which is good, except for when it reports earnings. So it's got one of the highest uh, reaction rates or reaction functions to earnings. Really no reason to step in front of an earnings report and put money to work in Airbnb. Away from that, after it reports and, and you let the dust settle, I would certainly be a buyer of Airbnb. I just wouldn't do it into the print. I think that it you know, trades at a reasonable to itself, 30 times multiple, as you mentioned, up 33% year-to-date. It really did well in sort of navigating of the sort of getting punted out of New York City and expanding broadly uh, in geographics, both domestic and, uh, and globally. It's certainly a beneficiary of all the travel and leisure that we saw happen in the last quarter. So I think it's a great company. I just wouldn't step in front of it uh, before it reports its earnings. What is the market telling you today? Market telling us three things. It's Friday. It's been a terrible week. Uh, the yield on the U.S. 10-year is at or about 5 percent, which where we think it's going to stay for quite a period of time. It's also telling us that we've got a lot of news in front of us, including a Fed meeting next week. But I think on balance, we've done a very good job in a very short period of time of having a market that's corrected the better part of 10 percent for the S&P and NASDAQ and likely sets up for a better week and, and, and certainly a better end of the year. And of course, you've got that October seasonality potentially ready to work here. Art Hogan. Absolutely. Have a Starts great on Monday.